Hey everyone, Espinaxam here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I create the detail layer that you will find in the post processing of all of my practice scenes. If you're interested, you can go to gumroad.com slash and download these practice scenes and get the models used, the Keyshot KSP and the Photoshop PSD used for the post processing. Two of them are free or pay what you want and this one comes with the smaller price of $5. Enough with advertising for now, let's dig into the actual tutorial. I got a question about how I create this detail layer that you will find in the PSD that comes with the practice scene. It's actually quite simple, so just follow along. Here I have the rendering straight from Keyshot. And the first step we need to do to create the detail layer is to copy it to a new Photoshop document. So I press Command A, Command C, Command N, click OK and Command V to copy it in. Then I go to Image, Adjustments and select HDR Toning. What I want to create here is a layer where the details sort of pop. Uh, I don't need any color, so I turn down the saturation. I want a lot of details and I want a pretty small radius. And the strength, turn it up to something like this. And I also want to avoid highlighted areas, so I will turn the highlight slider down a bit and I also want to avoid completely black areas, sort of this and this area here, so I turn up the uh, shadow slider just a bit, something like this, and this is what we need for the detail layer. So I click OK, then I Press Command A to select the entire image, Command C to copy it, and then I go back to the original rendering. Here I press Command V to copy it in, and you see we get it uh, as a layer for itself. I will rename it to Details and change the blending mode to Overlay. Then I hold in ALT and press this mask button, so we actually don't see anything of it. Then I will take a big soft brush with the flow of something like 20, whoops, damn it, 20, yes, uh, make it white. And then I will simply draw in the area where I want the detail to show more. So around these button, buttons here and the cracks and the glass and the fingerprint and I'll turn down the size a bit and go over the area here and the area on top of this stick. Something like this. Then I will just turn it on and off to see how it looks like without and with it. And there's a huge difference as you see. Typically it's a bit too much I think, so I'll turn down the overall opacity to something like 50 or 60 or whatever you think looks good. And that's actually all you have to do to create this detail layer and get your details to pop. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you learned something and as always subscribe and like if you would like to see more like this and to help others just like you to find this resource.